success doesn't come to the most intelligent or the most talented. Success comes to those who are the most hungry for it. So let me ask you, how hungry are you for success? Yeah, guys. So it's a good look. It's your girl, farm girl, Jess in the building. Hey, how are you guys? Outfit of the day. <laughs> Cheap and clean, you know, like ten dollars outfit. Look at that, and then I have my swimsuit underneath. It's, it's a good look. Yeah, guys. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Farm Girl Jess, and I'm back again with another video. Like, subscribe, share, comment below. Mwah. Subscribe. Mr. Silky is nowhere to be found. I'm searching everywhere on the farm now for Mr. Silky. Tina over there looking very suspicious. Like this is in a pipe, guys. And these are the tools that we're gonna use. rain you know like this and I think this is too heavy for them I think it's like the cottons, so the slugs don't eat them yes guys so this is in the dog nursery right now See the turn over the water again. See if you wanna check our puppy then. I have Chanel in here. She eating some bread. <laughs> bread nice. Yeah. This boy get three vaccines so far, so I'm good. I'm going to live. Guess what we have going on here guys? One fan. Two fan. That's how hard it is. And I'm going to install the AC so the breeze can circulate more in here, in the whole house too. I have an 18, a 18 BTU or something, another like that. Yeah, I have an 18 BTU AC. We're gonna put up AC in here and then dog here. Yeah. Yeah guys, it's a good look. Everything is awesome. It's your girl from Girl Jess. This is, the last week before we get to sell these puppies, so we have a few more days. You see me trying to steal some food out of the kitchen here. See me trying to get to the bread. <laughs> all right, see me, all right, see me. Let me have a broken potato. Take the bread. Hold on, hold on. Come see me, come see me, come see me. I can't eat the bread now. She won't even let me. <laughs> she won't even let me get it out for her. Yes, baby. All right. You get the bread. All right. Good girl. Yeah, so. We have puppies on the ground here. They start eating on them all. They start pooping on them all. Everything is awesome. Stop my egg. This one beats up. This one. Stop beating him up. Stop beating him up. You want to go in there, Trixie? Come see. You want to go inside there? Go inside. No? <laughs> go on in. Go on in here. Go on in. These are the mothers. We put them together. Because it's a big litter. So I'll put them together. Ow! Why you bite me for? Huh? And then you won't come look friendship from me again after you bite me. Hey, Pops, come. It's a bunch of a puppy. Come. Come here.
Come here, Napoleon. Come here, Napoleon. Nippy. Nippy. Look at them enjoying the milking station, you know? Why does one look like this? Oh god. Ooh. Anyway, sometimes I have to spray in here to keep down the flies. So I just spray right around the cages. Keep down the flies. The, the flies probably bring the power of a virus, so we keep down the flies that way. When you spray in here with some the insect spray, although you're not supposed to spray it around the dogs, but just a little. You spray in the flies, not the dogs. I spray on the floor and thing where they like to go. Yeah. Keep down the flies, keep down the termites, keep them, keep them all kind of insects. Yesterday I see a party leg in here and basically I use the um pyro catch the forty leg. That's a centipede guys. We call it forty leg in Jamaica. So that's pretty much it. Everything is awesome. It's a good look. Over here looking good and everything is slowly coming together. It's a good look. Yes guys. Building wealth. Oh and this is my new hairstyle by the way. Yeah, everything is awesome. Oh my god, this is so good. Watch him. Well, welcome out. This is my little flowers collection. So pretty. Wow. Alright, so this is the corn. Some of them up there so too, but I need to get the guy to come clean out the place. girl farm girl dress and i'm back again with another video sad news i came home this evening on the farm uh, the chicken coop is completely destroyed um mr silky is nowhere to be found i'm searching everywhere on the farm now for mr silky tina over there looking very suspicious like something is up and when I look down here, I see like a pile of feathers down there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it seems that my dogs have eaten Mr. Silky. So guys, I'm please asking you guys to assist me with building a better chicken coop. Because I built a chicken coop, but the dogs are not working with me. Or should I just leave the chickens all together and just focus on the dog breeding? I don't know. Athena is pregnant right now. So probably that is the reason why she has like hormonal. She feels for black chicken. Because you know that the silky chicken, it has like white feathers. But the skin is completely black. So I don't know if she feels for some exotic type of meat or something. But I fear now from my one rabbit that's left. All my pigeons died. Now I only have these things. I don't know what become of this chicken house that I built here. I don't even understand how it's deteriorated so fast um, in less than a year. All of these stuff rotten, as you can see. Right? So, it seems like when the birds or anything pee on it, it start to run this is what happened 
all of red hair fall out. And then Athena grab Mr. Silky. Rude. Her face shows all the guilt. You can see it. Very rude. Naughty girl. You know exactly what happened here. I see feathers everywhere. Feathers everywhere, guys. Feathers everywhere. Look at that. Feathers everywhere. Guys, what am I going to do now? This beautiful house that I built for the chickens, it came to a complete waste. What is happening in my life? You know, I built this dog house also. I don't know what has happened to that also. So now I have to build an additional concrete house here, down there. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And we might have to redo the fence. Because every time Coco is escaping, I don't know where she is now, but she is escaping all the time. The farm is really big, you guys, and the grass has gotten really high. I have no more goats again. I only have two goats now. That's what I mean by I have no more goats, only two goats. Max is there, and that one goat kid there. That, that, just that one. So basically, all of this grass has grown up. We can. Literally hold probably like two cows on here now. I'm really considering and getting some really aggressive cows. So <laughs> it might seem crazy, but if I get these cows, I won't have any problem with thief. And I probably won't have any problem with the dogs either. Because the cows can kill the dogs. So I don't know. But probably but probably that's what they want. Like a good whopping, you know? I can't come to grips with whopping them, so probably they need a good whopping. Who knows? Anyways, worker man is here today. He's going to do some lawn cutting today with the weed whacker. We're going to try and keep down this brush here. Look, what a beautiful morning. The sun is rising and everything. It's so cold. It's like I'm, I'm like talking and I can see it's like smoke coming from my mouth. But it's so beautiful, it's so mystical. going down there now I have some new roses that I purchased you know I do the gardening just to keep my sanity and feel a little civilized um, I like planting roses we plant some sweet corn it was a complete flop oh, guys there's a, so much that I have to fill in on you guys like you guys have a lot of catching up to do I haven't been posting a lot because I've been busy with puppies on the ground I have some dogs there and wow, look how beautiful. Wow, this morning is such a beautiful morning, like, wow. Guys, so these are my roses that I'm planting. For the farm. And this one has a nice rosy smell. <laughs> nice big bloom. Look how big this bloom is. Oh my god, that's insane. Really? So guys, this is cherry parafeet and I've tapu red. Um, yeah, this is the farm in the mornings at 6 o'clock. How beautiful. The sun hasn't come out yet. 
we're gonna cut down in here with the weed whacker today and then i think we're gonna like try to use the fork and situate it so i can plant some more roses originally i had planned to like turn here into an extra parking space like if anybody come to the farm they can park here but right now i'm gonna plant it up so it can be like a garden area first i don't know guys yeah yeah so i have plans of setting up this driveway finishing it you know we have some gravel there we have some sand here no, you can't see it, but we have a lot of materials here. This is the sun. I was thinking of completing all of this, paving off everything, and try to go all the way up to the top with it. But that's going to cost a lot of money, so. Beautiful. From my drive in here, I'm gonna try to clean it up. <laughs> setting up a pipe guys and these are the tools that we're gonna use and then some tangent i'm setting up a pipe so i can get some water on these plants here them to produce bigger blooms especially after they finish blooming it's just good to cut the, the leaves especially these dried up ones it's good to cut them I got to go again. Yeah, plant some here. And it died. 
You're not good. My one corn stuff.
Yeah, man, it's a good look. <laughs> Wait. See that guys? <laughs> that looks good. Get them up in there. Mosquitoes get into me, you know. I think I see some. Uh, I always have to have this on hand. Mosquitoes.
<laughs> like just a few stalks of corn. As you can see down there. <laughs> what? It look good. It's like what four or six stalks of corn there. Eh? Oh, oh. What oh, is You want to cut down a worm and I? Oh, so you left up there, so. Up there, so? Yeah. Up top? Yeah. Up the top, yes. Up there, but... Oh. Oh, the, the blade? No. Oh. What? Oh. oh, the pipe time. Okay. Yes, it's a no one put on the, the thing and water my garden. Chop, chop, chop. Let's go! Puppy, puppy, stop it. Oh, so these are the ones that worms of eating. Ungrateful after I give you so much food. Look at you. Go, Go around. You look so nice and much. You. Go inside. Sick, sick, sick. Don't make me put Coco and Jesse on you, yeah? <laughs> garden out here yes guys I'm gonna go check the rabbit now give them some food yeah the thing is awesome Ooh. nice little work out in the right here I pulled down this house because I think I look like she wants to devour my rabbit. I see you, you know. Look at that, guys. The look of guilt. Yes, Tina, you know what you did. I know what you did, Tina. You're not innocent. Mm -hmm. Rude. Chicken lives matter too. Mr. Silky Life matters. Okay? Come, Mr. Rabbit. Okay, if you drop out there, you know. If you drop out through that hole, you know. Is it that for you, you know? Okay. I'm coming around. Ooh, all this grass and thing right here, so not cool at all. But. 
I'm gonna like to feel another grass on my skin, guys. Listen to me now, Mr. Rabbit Man. I'm about to jump out and then make the dog and get in or set. Bring a little treat for you, you know? He loves it, guys. You like that? Nim, 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 nim. What are these, guys? Is it dandelion? What kind of bush is this? Comment below. Yes, Tina, I see your face, you know. I see you. Mm -hmm. Rude. Rude. See your face. You know what is my peeve right now? Walking in the wet grass. Oh my god. This is not good. The grass is so wet, guys. Look. Look how wet my feet are. The grass is wet. I don't like it. <sighs> Everything is awesome, though. Even though the grass is wet, it's still not enough to water my roses. So my roses need more water and I need some fertilizer too. I need to spray them with um some of that special spray. I'm going to get it right now too. I have some fertilizer there and some rose spray. This project is solely sponsored by my subscribers. So thank you so much by simply clicking that like button and sharing these videos will really help the channel to grow and also help me to sustain this farm so guys if you guys really love the farm content and you really want me to keep this farm please assist me by either donating and smashing the like button if you can't donate still smash that like button and share the video and tell your friend to tell another friend about farm girl dress Guys, I have some puppies in here. Hello, hi. They're for sale. Anybody interested? And then we have a new member to the family. I got a black family in here. Woo! I have a white one and I have a black one. All the colors in the rainbows. Hi, Chanel. Good morning. She's very shy. I think I'm gonna name her Bella or Noor. Comment below which name you like. Hmm? <laughs> Napoleon likes likes to go in there with them. Good morning, baby. Go, go back inside though. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Go back inside. I soon I soon take you guys out. Hold on. Yes guys, I just woke up so we haven't reached to the cleaning part of the dog chores yet so after i finish doing my garden i have these little critters to take care of so i'm very busy and after that i have to make breakfast then edit videos so as you can see i literally have no life <laughs> my life is for my subscribers i have no time for myself so this is like dope and then this is the fertilizer but we're not gonna fertilize and spray at the same time we're actually just gonna use this today i wanted um one of those what do you call them uh, water in cans yes to mix this in or i mix it in my um spray pan but i just don't know where anything is because we have everything packed up around here so everything packed up around here i don't see the spray pan oh i see it Whew, guys around here is another is another project that uh, that is completely unfinished because of lack of funding so as you can see we just have like a little bit of things left to do on the house mostly the mesa should come and finish out in here 
finish smooth out the walls and do the rendering of the walls and then after that electrician should come and run electrical pipes and thing and yada 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 yeah guys it's a good look the puppies are over there playing yeah, it's a good look all right Louis. Mm. Coco dear, I don't know what's going on with her. She's looking really skinny. We have to probably change her dog food to like a mm, mature dog dog food. That have more fat in there, I guess. More fat and more protein. Yeah, she's like nine years old. So, yeah, Coco. So we're going to change your food to a bigger, fatter diet. You want a fattier diet. You get older, so your muscles not developing as they should. You know, so you want more protein, right? <laughs> right? No chickens, though. Wicked girl. She's also one of the culprits, guys. strong pesticides. <laughs> Come, we need to buy the rest of the holes. It's not really good. <laughs> yeah, guys. Hey.
Come on. I'm saying I could plant one of these in there. There you go. This one looks like it's the strongest we can plant this one today. I bring those closer, though. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I love it so much fun right now. <laughs> not the full water in but yeah. the hose needs to be a little bit longer guys but what I'm planning on doing is attaching a sprinkler system to it Keep 
feels dirty. You guys? Guys, I noticed some grubs. There are some grubs in the soil, so I'm going to spray the soil before I plant. Or should I plant first? Hmm. Plant first or spray the soil first? Who knows? But all right, right now I don't think this one is gonna be affected yet. I normally put like a little mixture right at the root called mocap, but some is in there already. But I don't know. Probably I need to add it again, like how this is like a fresh thing. I don't know. Got my goat fertilizer and everything. This one, 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 this Anytime, anything you plant in here, it won't materialize because it's like I don't know the dirt. The dirt kind of like this is the original dirt from versus the dirt that I've made here, and it just needs to be plowed first, like parked up, digged up first, and then you plant. You understand guys? Yeah. And I probably wouldn't plant here so yet till I get the um till I get the extra piece of hose because I'm not I'm not trying to get back problems before the time you guys. find the culprit that's why this eat also and i'm thinking is goat is sla is snail you little you little why you little don't worry i have a remedy for you yeah i'm gonna fix your business <laughs> Take that, hater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I haven't decided if I want to plant white roses here. Or should I give them some pot cover? And probably throw up big. Probably throw up to be like a really big bush. Probably throw up to be like a really big bush. I 
have 60 acres of land. Why not try to spread them out as much as possible and not try to like have a small, in a little small area, right? This also look like a big tree right here. I don't know. I don't know, guys. So, we're going to plant them so that they have space to grow. Yeah. So, come on, let's get on with it. Let's, let's go down with it. Let's spray them. in the soil here. Oh, it smells. It's not good to spray them all the time because the bees and everything will come and pollinate. So I'm just going to spray them. We have to run away the bees. I'm going to spray my little cottons so the slugs don't eat them. Something is eating them. So I believe it's a slug. You just saw the parasites on my bogan villa. I'm going to give him a little bit of I heard some rustling in the bushes here. I was wondering, what the hell is that? It's Athena. You guys, this is a riverbed, you know, but it's dried up now. I want to clean it up and actually dam it 
so that we have like a nice pool area. Hi, Tina. Hi. Oh, you're going about your business. Okay, cool. <laughs> She's just doing her own thing. <laughs> yeah. So this is so far the healthiest start that I have right here. I'm going to plant back these areas with some currants, but I'm going to still plant back my roses also. I'm going to try to dump it up with this. So we need a little pickup truck to pull it up with dirt. And then do the do with the pickup truck. You understand? Yeah. suggested to me to get like a covering for them I don't know yet guys I don't know my garden project is is I work on trouble I'm sure it is my guys what am I to
what are you gonna say? Why you don't get water boots? I don't like them. They give me corn. I don't like corn. I don't like to water my flowers with the heavy water. I feel like it damages the roots or something like that. Comment below if it's a mix, guys. I just feel like it's just the water is too heavy and it's just weighing down the plant. They like like this the soft rain, you know? Like this. And I think this is too heavy for them. I think it like beats them up. I like the nice little gentle. Alright. So guys, I still undecided if I'm gonna plant this here. <laughs> Although it will look really good right here, but let me just give it a few more days to get that kind of tie to the earth. Look guys, see the slug here? See the slug of them here? It's them you know? You see it? Come. You see there? Right there. You know. Touch the screen. Touch the screen. Make it camera focus. Yeah, guys. So we find out why my roses are dying now. Your bugger, yeah? Hold that. Enjoy. Yeah. Make sure you spray back over here. Yes. It's serious, you know, guys. It's serious. It's very serious. This is so serious. It's not even no joke. It's so serious right now. It's not even funny. This is serious, guys. <laughs> it's a good look, guys. I'm so tired today. I got a nice workout. I get my garden completed. Well, it's a work in progress, but we did a whole lot today. You understand? Yeah, I still undecided. I want to plant roses all the way to up there, but still I need somewhere to like drive through so I can like park my car and like wake up in the morning. And when I do my camping right here with my Ford Explorer, I can wake up to my roses and I just go like this. <sighs> Alright guys. Bye for now. Subscribe, like, comment and share. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>